Hello, and welcome to episode 8 of the 100 Spin Test, where I take roulette strategies and deliberately play them poorly. There are too many distractions which prevent people from playing roulette perfectly. So the goal of this channel is to honestly see if certain flat betting strategies can deal with real world and human imperfection. Today's test strategy is the last tango in Vegas by CEG Dealer School subscriber K-Pop. I've included a link to David and Alex's September 8, 2023 video below. This is supposed to be a one and done bet, pressing only if you get a small win. I don't play properly on this channel, so I will run 100 spins this session instead. Thanks to the house edge which varies between 1.35 to 7.69%, a large number of consecutive unmodified bets can drain a bankroll. With any luck, we can uncover and exploit an exception. But on this one, I am not feeling hopeful. Since I play online, I'll stick to the European game because it dominates with online casinos. There are 12 winning numbers out of a possible 37, giving you a 32% likelihood of winning on each spin. However, only 5, or 13% are the jackpots that this strategy is aiming for. To simplify things for analysis, I've reduced the unit to $1, euro, or pound from the $25 in CEG's video. The bet consists of 8 units around a focal point. They are 5, 8, 17, 20, 29 or 32. Place 1 unit on a focal point number, 1 unit on the splits touching the selected number and 3 units on the dozen corresponding to that selected number. I'm going to stick with one focal point of 20. You will win a jackpot of 109 units if the ball lands on 20, or 19 units if the ball lands on 17, 19, 21 or 23, or you will win a single unit if the ball lands on 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 22 or 24. As always, the chart below shows the progress of the strategy as misplayed and gives a hint at how volatile the strategy is. Now let's speed things up and watch the progress. I'll be back at the end to summarize. The last tango in Vegas strategy as played was a serious winner. It completely outperformed expectations. There were 5 jackpots, which were 2 more than expected and 14 split jackpots which were 3 more than expected. There were 63 losses which were 4 fewer than expected. We reached a high water mark of positive 435 units and a low of negative 8 before settling at a 325 unit profit at the end of the spins. I ran a few statistical tests on the results. I considered a one unit win to be a loss so I could focus on the jackpot numbers, otherwise the stats would not have much analytical value. The chi-square test indicated that these results were likely random. The average number of spins before we got a hit was 2.1 with a standard deviation of 1.7. That means that 95% of jackpots would have occurred between 1 and 6 spins though there was a 12 spin gap once. I had success with this test because we got lucky with 3 jackpots in the first 20 spins. You may also, but keep in mind that 100 spins is still a small sample. There are so few winning numbers that we may not see a lot of consistency between tests. It does however, 
Look like it is possible to push this bet if you can land a few early jackpots and know when to stop. The strategy as written suggests that you leave the table after a split or full jackpot. Keep in mind that casinos are not there to make you rich. So test strategies on a simulator and read the critiques of any strategy that you are planning to use. Also, all roulette players should remember that no system works all the time and some don't work at all. Adjust your risk level accordingly. Good luck until the next time.